Hey, thanks for jumping onto our YouTube channel. It's relational. This is Mike and Connie Hammer coming at you. We got three great questions uh, in just a few moments, but uh, hey, this channel is all about doing relationships, improving relationships. And one of the areas that uh, I've needed an improvement is in the area of communication. And that's where you've been a star, baby. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. Everybody can grow in the area of talking with each other. But I have to remember when I was a child growing up, we did a lot of talking in our family. And usually when there was a topic brought up, my mom was famous to say, well, let's go around and see how everybody feels mm. about that. And there were times it was like, yeah, I don't know. She goes, no, say something, figure out something, <laughs> put your heart into it. And I think that's where I just grew to um, understand that participation is the best thing you bring to the table. Just the fact that you're willing to share something and um, yeah. create it as you go. Yeah, you've had a lot of good habits in that way. <laughs> I remember one thing that your mom said that, because uh, your dad wasn't a big talker mm -hmm. and he had a lot to learn just like myself. And she would often say to him this, uh, when he'd give like a one word answer, just a couple word answer, he'd say, Dave, now back up and give me a paragraph with feeling. <laughs> I remember hearing that quite a few times myself. And I've, I've thought about that so many times because I can I can be the king of one word response or just a couple words. And when I have to step back, you know, slow down, uh -huh. give me a paragraph with feeling, that really stretches me, but it really helps me to, you know, to really... It's true. Yeah. And also just to be able to look at each other yeah. and be able to understand that. Yeah, we'll demonstrate <laughs> that. But to understand that you're sharing from a place of your own experience or, you know, there were so many times where I would always say, I don't know. You can mm -hmm. ask me a question, but I don't know. And I'm not making that up. And so we learned to really give each other the space to say, it's okay that you don't know but let's just stick with this and explore some options. So mm -hmm. then we would begin to talk things through and many times I would give an answer and then he would respond. And then I would talk again and I'd change my whole answer. He's like, wait, wait, which side of this thing are you on? And mm -hmm. I'm like, At, the more I talk, the more I'm changing the way I feel about it. So I'm an outward processor compared to this guy who is an inside oh, processor. Gotta think it through first. And that's where some great questions mm -hmm. really take it to another level instead of the, you know, how to go today. I mean, you don't have to give much of an answer to, to really answer that <laughs> one word. And so these great questions that we're going to bring to you in just a moment. But listen, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe right down in this corner, that little button there, uh, and uh, ring your little notification bell like that. And you'll be happy because you'll get all the content coming out each and every week. You'll be glad you did because yeah. it, it means something to the relationships in our lives that we're becoming intentional to say, I don't want to just settle for, I'm not a good talker. I don't really know my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Or like for me, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. And we don't settle for that, but we push ourselves just a little bit further to say, I want to grow in this area. Yeah. And so that's what we encourage you for in this whole area of relationships. All right, so let's get to the three great questions for tonight. Maybe you got a family gathering coming up. Maybe you're on a date night. These are three great questions. How about the first one? With whom can you talk heart to heart with? Who do you really connect with and you can really talk from the heart with? And it might even be the second part of that question is, who do you wish you could talk heart to heart with? And why would that be meaningful to you? Mm -hmm. Another great question is who has been an influence in your life? It might be somebody from your childhood years or your teenage years, or even if you're old enough that in recent days, you have found that somebody has begun to be a positive influence for you. And then why? Why do they get to speak into your life and you have ears to hear what they say? And the last question is this. How often do you pretend to be someone that you're not just to please other people? Hmm. That's a scary one. That's a big one. <laughs> because really, isn't authenticity the goal in our relationships? And so if we realize that we're becoming somebody else just to keep people happy, that's a really good thing to process and ponder with somebody that knows you really well. Yep. And all these questions we'll put in the description below in the show notes so you can have them. Uh, but anyways, thanks for joining us.